I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow to, oh, there's some yellow. Thicken out this free here so it really stands out. But I don't know how many times I've chalked first free Bradley Manning down here and then free Chelsea Manning. I think that was more like when I was living in Keene, I was doing some more of those. That looks a little better. In the shade, you can't really tell. Alright, so it's nice out here in front of the state house. A lot of people pass by here during the day. Um, the place the politicians see the most, though, is probably right in front of the state house. So I'm going to do some quick chalkings out there. in your chain. So the gentleman just retreated into the building, but uh, so we can get a pan over here. Right out that door, a security guy, security outfit. Um, I, he seemed familiar. I think he's someone that's been around a few years. Um, he came out and he's like, so what's that you're doing? I was like, can you read it from there? And then he was like, you're not supposed to do that. And I was like, I don't know about that, man. I really don't. I think I know quite the opposite. So, I invited him to come read it, but he didn't come read it. because I want people to see it, so of course I wouldn't want to wash it off. That's ridiculous. So you're going to wash it off? Or you're not? I mean, nature is going to wash it away the next time yeah. it rains, but I have no obligation to, to clean things if that's happens, what you're saying. You know, someone has to clean, you know, clean that up after. You know, Why would they? You mean if they don't like it, they'd censor it? No, it's not about that. It's about, you know, if you... What do you mean it's not about that? I don't go around... I don't go around washing up other people's chalking, so why would I expect somebody to do it to me? It's one of those like golden rule sort of things. Yeah, it, well, I know your point, but you know the way it looks here, it's just like you are dirtying it down here. Someone will have to clean it eventually tomorrow morning. Well, don't you think the message is kind of important, though? Well, I don't look, you know, I don't try to be political, you know, because my job is, you know, it's a little bit different standpoint here. You know what I'm saying? I guess. So, I know you stand for it, but uh, for me, it's just the way it is. You know, job, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's so funny. I try not to be involved politically in, your, in, in the way you think. Right. Well, I think it's funny that you say you try not to be involved politically, yet you're asking me or suggesting I should clean up a political message. Don't yeah, you think, think that is being be involved politically? You are doing it on the property here, which is a state property. So well, yeah, that means it's the people. It's different when you do it on the sidewalk. This is like one of the most constitutionally important, recognized, uh, sanctioned places. 
places for free speech in this country. No, no, I understand. You are going into political, political stuff, but I'm, I'm not into that, okay? Well, I'm going into what is enforceable and what isn't enforceable, so, which is... I'm talking about that you are just, uh, the, you know, putting something down. I don't even go into the mess of whatever you're writing down, but it just, someone needs to clean that up after that. That's all. Well, I don't know about That's somebody needs to clean it up, but... I think the mess that the message is trying to address is a much bigger mess than any sort of minuscule dust particles that bother you right now. Like these are two people that didn't hurt anyone that are in prison and have been uh, Chelsea Manning held in solitary confinement now in double jeopardy twice. Like. Appropriate on your your job it's time. Not me. It doesn't matter me at all. I think it'd be more. Putting it wrong way. All right. Well, I'm just saying. I think it'd be more appropriate if you no, talked sorry. about it in your like time off than now. expression of like we don't like it we want to get rid of it this is the, the public sphere this is the public platform and i have no problem with that it just, I can, like, like i said eventually someone's gonna have to clean it up you know what i mean like it or not it's it just so, well, the next time it rains it's gonna be invisible so nobody needs yeah, to do anything they don't want to they don't I like just it wanna, to be i just want to be sure and, and, and that's all. That's why I didn't call, and I just called you from that standpoint, so you know what I'm talking about, okay? Nothing about politics, believe me. Well, I don't say, do that. I'd say stopping somebody from showing the grass to not is That's one of those things when you're an independent person filming, you don't get, uh, I didn't get to move the camera around to get the best shots for you guys, but I'm sure you got all the audio that just what was being said. I mean, I'm not putting it on the buildings or the walls or vertical surfaces or the statues or whatever, because um, that seems to really set people off. But the ground, this is, uh, this is the people's building, this is the people's platform right here. This is where we sure up what we believe in. This is where we let people know what, what the vibe is. And the vibe right now is journalists are being thrown in prison. People that support uh, sharing true information are being thrown in prison. People that have already served time for their sentences are being thrown back in prison for not supposedly making up things about other people. But none of this is good, man. And so this is the state house. This is a. Uh, Supposedly the most powerful house in New Hampshire, like, as far as uh, legal power, shared with some other groups. There's also and uh, maybe not today, but maybe tomorrow or in a few days if it's still nice, I'll get down to the Fed compound and do some chalkings down there. Um, because, yeah, those federal employees, those are the people that are directly uh, responsible for holding those people. I'm Garrett. Garrett. Um, Garrett from Free Concord. Garrett from Free Concord? Yeah. Is that first name Garrett? Yeah. What's the last name? Oh, it'll, it, it's easy to find if you just look me up. Yeah, you can Google it. So that, that security guard just came out and asked, like, yes for my last name, too. 
Google it, dude. I don't need to give you everything. I need to let me Google that for you. But, uh, but yeah, it surprised me because I, f I thought I had seen this guy at other, like, maybe 420s or just, I feel like other events where there's been lots of Liberty people at once and I feel like there has been shocking, but I feel like the, sec the security guard guys have never really bothered us before, at least not for many, many years. I don't know who the guy on the, he was on the phone with. It sounded like he said hello to George. Um, but I don't, I don't really care who he's talking to, whether it was state police or other security people. I think he said it was a supervisor or something, whatever. But that's funny. It, it's interesting. I haven't chalked in a while. And when I do, the different reactions I get and the different people that take different opposition to it. And uh, it's funny. Here in Concord, it's always an authority figure. I've gotten much resistance from just a regular citizen from anything I've talked. Um, in Keene, it was always a civilian, well, presumably civilian person with like a state uh, that really took offense to whatever it was that was shocking. So I guess this one is a threat since the guy was like, somebody's gonna have to wash it away. I, I don't know if he was saying he personally like wants to wash it away or something. I didn't get what he was saying, but let's get a nice good shot of it before we go, just so we know it's there. It's a good one that people coming in and out should be able to see.